Next up, the Foundation's Stone Lane Ceremony for the first medical university in Uyo as held in Akwaibom State. Clement Barikio reports that the university is an arm of Thompson and Grace Group, a medical conglomerate. The journey to having the Thompson and Grace Medical City began in 2016 with a groundbreaking ceremony. Since then, indigenous of the host community of Agobong and other stakeholders have been waiting anxiously for this project that will not only impact the global community, but will also put an end to their medical challenges. Sited in a Farobong community, a back local government area of Aquabom State, the Thompson and Grace Medical City will accommodate a 100 bed space primary health care hospital to see to the medical and health care needs of 25 villages in a back and three other local government areas. Laying the foundation of the Thompson and Grace Medical University's Senate and General Administration buildings and the Community Primary Health Care Hospital, representative of the Ambassador of Germany to Nigeria, Mr. Christopher Wenzel, said his country will give the needed technical support to the institution. What is needed is not only equipment. Equipment is nice to have, but you need people who can maintain it, you need people who can operate it. And uh, at the core of the German bilateral cooperation with Nigeria is vocational training. There is every reason to believe that this institution will become a center of excellence that will further fast track the process of technology transfer in the vital area of health care delivery. With focus on research in infectious diseases such as HIV and oncology, the Thompson and Grace Medical University is expected to take off by 2020. So our motivation is to say again, no Nigerian woman should die giving birth to life. Um, for any reason, no, no person should die of infectious disease. And no person should die because of bad health, because of inability to have access and to pay for health. The Thompson and Grace Group has the capacity to employ 35,000 workers in what appears to be the biggest direct foreign investment in the country. And this has left the host community with no option than to honor the German ambassador to Nigeria and others for their partnership. <laughs> Another lucky Nigerian customer of Fidelity Bank PLC has emerged the winner of the Mega Millions cash prize of 10.